Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of My Darkness Falls for Alpha 20 series. It is the morning of day 15 and we are standing on top of Rex's place. Uh, there was a bear outside last night, but he kind of wandered away. He's like over there now. I must have killed about, I don't know, six or eight zombies out here last night, just sniping him with a bow. There was one feral, but she wasn't really too much of a problem. She kind of ran up here and then didn't do any damage and then I guess didn't know where I was, so she wandered out and I killed her. It's kind of the benefit of not having feral scents on at night is they can't really do too much because they don't know where you are. Um, but yeah, so I think I know what I want to do, kind of know what I want to do today. Now, one of the things I've been neglecting, and thank you to all the people that pointed it out to me, kind of made an error about the um, White River uh, settlement um, uh, girl inside the traders. Um, and that's totally my fault, and I apologize. I know it's been several episodes since people have pointed this out. I want to apologize. I generally bulk record stuff ahead of time just because I don't really have time every night to sit down and record. So I'll generally re bulk record episodes. But uh, now I do have the point, uh, the, uh, the chance to address that. So if we go to character here, uh, and we go to the um, st uh, character stats tab, you'll notice here at the bottom there's factions for each of the traders. So once you get to a certain point, they'll offer to, like you can buy skills off them, things like that, right? So as you get each faction up, that actually works. Now, for the White River Settlers, or Survivors faction, that's uh, the girl inside every single trader's place that sends you out and does you do those um, kill X number of zombies and come back missions. Those are actually relatively quick to do. Um, they're very repetitive and very quick to do, but that gets your White River Survivors faction up. When this reaches 10, she sends you out on a special quest to go find uh, uh, Razor, I think his name is, the one trader. And then Razor's got a bunch of quests for you to, to uh, go out and do. Now, that's how you forward the main timeline um, in Darkness Falls. So the secondary storyline, that's how it's forwarded. And... I haven't been doing that. I probably should have been, but I, I think I was just, you know, relying on the fact that I was hoping to find Caitlyn sooner rather than later. Uh, we've got here eight. Let's go with 11. I'm going to keep all this on me. Um, so now the zombies will be aware that we're here. Now that it's morning, well, there's not much left out there. The bear won't care. I'm going to jump down and grab, maybe not from here, but grab that loot bag real quick and that one over there. Uh, then we'll see uh, wrecked here before we do stuff. But we're going to start taking those quests to kill X number of zombies and whatever else. We'll start grabbing those and um, try and get it ranked up to 10 so we can at least have the option of being able to go ahead and do the quest for Razor. Now, I'm going to be moving pretty slow here for the first little bit. It's been, I think, uh, almost two weeks since I recorded the last episode. I have watched it, so I kind of know where we're at. And what we need to do... So, um... I should probably have my light on. Uh, so I know what we're, we're going to be up to. Got a guy coming. Um... I gotta take... Oh, shit. That's not good. Good thing he didn't see me. And goodbye. Deal with these guys. So I know what we're going to do for a horde base. i got a pretty good idea what I want to do. Uh, and it's going to revolve around junk sledges. So I went ahead and spent the point that we got yesterday. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, hey, buddy. Um, and I put it into uh, uh, Robotics Inventor again. So now we're level 4 Robotics Inventor. We can use two turrets at the same time. That's pretty much all we need, I think, for what I'm planning on doing for the Horde base that I'm planning on building. Now, I've been trying to think about... I've had a look at that Shamway building and kind of like a, the, uh, an offline playthrough I'm doing. Make sure that bear's not here. Oh, he's over there. Um, so I kind of have an idea... What we're going to do for the Horde bases... Yes, Occlusion is still off. I'm probably going to turn it back on again. Um, Alright, can I see your inventory here? I hear you out there. Let's just sell as much as we can here. I can't take everything back with me, so... Sell a bunch of stuff. Let's get the red die out of you, though. Uh, modify you, take you out. And I don't think we need these pistol parts, so we're just going to sell them. 
Yeah, they're worth a little bit. Sell that. Uh, there was a bit of money here too. We can sell. Okay. So, oh, um, you want a guarantee, I huh? do. Well, maybe you should try Shamway. <laughs> That's where I live. Um, so I kind of have an idea what I want to do for the horde base for that, and it's going to be a it's going to be multiple horde bases. There's going to be several of them connected to the main base, just so that if one fails, we can move over to another one and pick up kind of from where we left off. They'll be disconnected from each other, so that when we do move, we can pick up either frames or or open a door like downward. So the zombies can't get a, don't see a path to get to me that from the old horde base move into the new horde base and have them kind of come up the way we want them to come up to the new horde base that's my thought anyway so that's what i'm going to work towards um so we can have a variety of styles of bases because i want to do i do want to try a few things now um what was i doing again oh man <sighs> trying to think here okay um right we want to take a quest from you because I think we're gonna knock a few of these out today. Um, do you have any jobs? Cable guys never made it tier two. We can go down to it, doesn't matter which ones you do, so you can do tier one, tier can two, whatever. You? Let's do tier one. So, what the first thing we're gonna for? do is knock a couple of these guys out. So, let's go do that, and we can go ahead and drop as much as we can fit in there, which isn't much. Yeah, I'm going to have to be like very cautious about what we keep and what we get rid of. Okay, let's go over here and do this here. Okay, I thought this was the desert the other day with the sunlight. It's not. It's the wasteland. So we found the wasteland. Which, I wish it was the desert. <laughs> but we found the wastelands. Whoa, I hear you. My you little bastard. Not going to do it. Gotcha. Let's take care of you. Let's harvest you. Now, there was another guy. Oh, that's the runner. That's from the Wandering Horde last night. I was wondering where the heck you were going to. Wow, you're a, you're not from the Wandering Horde. You are an insane zombie that we cannot fight. So we're just going to go. I hear you. See ya. All right, we can't do that. <laughs> 3,000 hit points? I don't think so. I mean, we could... Uh, I don't know. I don't know how badly the regen is. And I don't know if his feral sense is on, so it's like she's going to follow me for quite a while here. So we're going to lead her away. Come on. We'll lead her over here, and then we'll swing around. I'll Daryl Dixon her ass here. I'm hoping this is far enough. She still knows I'm here. At least I think she does. She's kind of running went randomly, so let's go back real fast. Knock this quest out. We only need to kill three, so... That's why we don't want to go to the wastelands this early. Not in Darkness Falls. This is just the recipe to die horribly. All right, let's grab this real quick if we can. Make sure she is not on her way back. I don't see her anywhere. All right, guys. Help me out here. So, I like doing the cable guys never made it for these quests because I find construction zombies can drop some half-decent loot. So if we don't find stuff that we, we can use, we can definitely find stuff that we can sell if this would just load. All right, well, we got that. There's the quest done. Finish these two guys off. Ah, some nails and some glue. Okay, let's go back. Oh, there's that loot bag, too, we got to pick up. So we want to go into town, I think. See what's there. I don't know when the horde's going to come. Should get a notification shortly if it's actually happening. Great All right, job. what do you got for me? Really? We'll take that. And then let's take... How are we doing for drinking stuff? Let's just take this. Sure. I mean, we could take stuff to sell, but that doesn't really matter. Um, 
I think I want here. Goodbye. So let's go tier two. Let's Can just I see where that you? is. Can no, I help that's you? gonna be in the wastelands. Let's have a quick look at the map here. Yeah, we can't do that. So let's just get rid of that one. And then let's see if you got any tier one. There's your back to health. Hmm, that might be a little better. Yeah, that nurse is kind of still over here. So let's just quickly go knock this one off. And then we'll go have a look at the town. Alright, let's pull this off real quick here. So yeah, I mean... Uh, someone had mentioned it once again. Terrible with names and I apologize. That these are probably argu arguably the best way to make money in Darkness Falls. There we go. We're done. All three. I don't need to do any more. We'll go back. So if you wanted to make mon money fast in Darkness Falls, this is probably the best way to do it. Because if you think about it, as you get up in tier, like we're doing tier 2, right? Which means we can do tier 1 and tier 2. I could pull off all 10 of these in one day. We get amazing faction points, but also the amount of rewards and um, uh, coin you'll get is ridiculous. Now, that's kind of one of the things that I, I disagree with. Like, I don't mind doing fast quests, but having that many available is just, I think, a little bit over the top. Okay, let's grab you. And I'm going to take these, because we'll definitely use those. All right, we'll end that. Now, do we have anything to give to... We do. Let's repair you. All right, we can go ahead and modify you. I know I can find a better use for these, but actually, what's this got on it? Yeah, we want this instead. Wood splitter. Do we have wood splitter? We don't. Well, that'll be helpful couple things we can use. I'm going to sell as much of this as I can, and then let's put that red dye into something. Uh, like my head, so I can look like a complete moron. Alright, um... Let's go talk to you. Bringing counterfeit money in here, are you? Uh, no, no. Why do you ask, Wrecked? Um, let's see here. We can sell you now for a little bit more coin than we would have got. I'm going to sell all those nails sell that. I'm going to drink this. And I think that's probably going to be it. Um, yeah. So was there anything here that we wanted? I don't think so. How much coin do we have? 17,000? Uh, trigger group burst. More shotgun rounds. I probably should just buy like all of them. Let's just buy 130 though. We can make we can complete a stack here just so we have them on us. And actually I'm gonna buy this too. We eat that right now. Shit, man. I treat you that good and you don't even no, fucking not gonna tip me. you. It's the apocalypse. I, I can't afford to tip you, man. Alright, we'll scrap this. Uh we're gonna keep the paper. We're gonna drop you and you. Alright, let's go have a look at his town now. And see what he's got. See if there's any quick pages we can grab here. Okay, this is a book house. I know we can kind of go up in there. I think there's like eight bookshelves in there that have all got books. But I'm not really that, that interested in it right now. Still no news on a horde yet. So there's the Shamway building that we have. And what I'm planning on doing, let's just cruise through here real quick. I can just show you before we get a chance to do it. We're going to knock this out here in the back, and we're going to put a hole right above my head here in the wall. Then we're going to put a rampway out and then down so that the zombies can get up. And then on this side over here, we're going to do the same thing up in here, where, just above my head, is where it will come out. And there'll be a walkway here. And where all this, this uh, dirt is, we're going to turn that into a pit. But that's going to take a fair bit of work. Definitely not going to happen before the next horde. But that's my idea. Then we can use this side of the building over here and probably like up on top of the roof up there. We can use that for our, our crops, our chicken coops, all that kind of stuff. And I think we'll probably be fine and protected from zombies enough that we don't have to worry about them. Now I gotta cruise real slow here because I don't know where the wasteland starts. 
I don't know if this city goes into the wasteland. It might. Uh, random gen. Sometimes I've seen up on the worlds that I, a couple of the worlds that are randomly generated, a city will mostly be in one zone and then sometimes carry over into another. And there's a weapons bag up there. So let's go get that. Okay, what's in here? Take that, we can just go ahead and scrap you. Yeah, you're not getting up here. All right, now up here is, don't fall, is the weapons bag. Grab that. Ooh, burning shaft mod. It's actually not bad. Um, can we put it on this? I can, just for now. And that's a what? Shotgun long barrel, we'll hang on to that. Let's grab plastic because we're going to need that later on. So plastic's always a good get if you can grab as much plastic as you can while you're going. If it only takes a second to grab it, just do it because you'll you'll uh, be thankful for it later when you start to make coil ammo and stuff. That way you don't have to go after it and find it. You've just got it already. Alright, so it looks like this is going into a... That's a shotgun messiah. To a commercial district. We got pass and gas. Let's just see if they got any gas for us here. Oh yeah, nice. Oh yeah, that's very nice. Ah, two out of three ain't bad. Drop that all under the bike. Nice, what are we at? 73? Plenty. And it doesn't look like we're getting a horde tonight. I could be wrong. Ooh, electronic shop. I do want to raid that, but... Let's just go past it here for a second. I really want books more than anything. Electronics we can worry about later. It's actually not a bad town. It's kind of nice and open here. That might be another electronic shop there. It looks like it's a collapsed building, so there might not be a lot in there. All right, we got the hospital over here. We got Glock 9's taco truck. Uh, there's a crack of book. Uh, I think the wasteland is like right behind that. Uh, there's two cracker books right beside each other. But the wasteland is like right there. Oh man, I'm tempted to just... Do we do it? We could probably empty this cracker book. We got Molotovs. Alright, let's put the bike here. Let's move you out and bring you down. At least they're all aggroed on these guys. Get up. Wow, that guy over there didn't last long, did he? Um, let's take care of these guys. There you go. Well worth it. Then we're gonna take on this cracker book. So we're still at warrior difficulty. I did crank up the horde knight. Uh, we're at 12 zombies now. I've been cranking up by two every um, 14 days. So it might go up more than that, depending on how well the next horde knight goes. I might make it go up faster. We'll see. Although I think it goes 12 and then 16 anyway, so... Yeah, this would be a completely different story if these guys were all runners. That will happen at some point, just not quite yet. I, like I said, I will be cranking things up, so... Um, at some point, they'll all be runners. Okay, let's repair you. Alright, now I don't really like the idea of going into this place. Plastic. Plastic. I'm gonna leave that. Okay, let's hope. 
Take those. There's trash right here. Nothing. Okay, let's see what we can get in the bike. Not a lot, probably. Oh, a little bit. That's not bad. So we're still pretty light here. We got a got a few spaces left. Uh, I should probably just scrap some of that stuff we have in the bike. All right, fuckers. Come on, wake up. Well, you're coming from the wasteland, I think. Maybe. You're dead. I don't know, she might be from the wasteland too, or she could be from the building. Either way, she's dead. Can I get a shot at... Did that guy despawn in there? He might have. I heard you. Another guy over here, though. Oh, you're stuck on the roof, dude. Come on, buddy. We got shit to do. Maybe it was... Maybe they all came off the roof. That is a good possibility. Okay, now there's a guy... Right there. Who's now dead. That is a big boy, not a cop. But that's a cop. Okay, dealt with. Hopefully it's not too much noise. Hey, Mom. What's up? She wants to come off the roof. He may need a... Oop, that, that was a coochie shot, and I apologize. It was very unprofessional of me. Not you. Oh, you are being slowed down, weren't you? Okay, take care of the runners first. Oh, I saw ya. Racking them up neatly. Well, been a good morning for killing zombies. Beautiful day out. I mean, as beautiful as it can, as beautiful as it can be when you're standing beside the wasteland. Look at you. I think we got this. I'm going to loot this place as fast as I can. Starting at the front. Actually, let's go side to side. Alright, we've got some stuff here that we might be able to use. Okay, we got that already. Looks like we got all these. Alright, I'll loot all these. And then if some shit drops... I'll uh, cut back in, but if not, then we'll just take a look at what we got here. All right, we're on the last legs here. Grab that. Ooh, that's nice. So we picked up a little bit here. Uh, the only thing I found was the... Oh, we can use that. The insulator liner mod. Let's use this one too. Might be able to use that for the horde. We don't need that. All right, now that we can start scrapping this stuff. So we found a, a couple things. Insulator liner mod, or not mo mod, but insulator liner recipe. I got these, right? Yeah. All right, I'm not going in the back. It's We're still too close to the uh, wasteland. I don't trust it. I ain't wrecking my uh, perfect uh, record here just for a few books. All right, let's drop what we can in here. Um, storage. Okay, not bad. We, what we will do 
is we will mark yeah there's the wasteland right there mark you uh, like that as a library and like that so we know we can come back here uh, working stiffs mm, let's just go grab the stuff from out front we don't have to rush back today which is good although I think I want to I think I do want to head back because um, it will at least give us the opportunity to um, start our horde base tomorrow I don't want to be like doing it at the I mean I guess we could do it on horde day rather than like having to rush home and then you're done you know rather than having to rush home and um it's locked eh yep using my crowbar now it's one of those things I get and then forget to use Okay, that yeah so at least maybe we'll have a little bit of time I'm gonna grab you not done looking in here yet I think that's it oh one more all right we can scrap you let's scrap this let's use that uh, we're, um, hmm. All right, uh, wait, we want to scrap this too. Sorry, Glock Nine's here to, he's not here to sell you tacos. So you have to come back another time. Have to come back another time. All right, let's head. So that's the wasteland kind of touching there. That's like residential. Auto wash. So somebody mentioned about grabbing books out of these uh, these things here, and you're not gonna find in Darkness Falls. You won't find much. Like my game stage is a little higher now, and I'm still not getting anything out of here. It's just because all the books that you normally would get don't exist in Darkness Falls, so they just don't show up there, right? You might get lucky. Like you know, I like I like finding schematics because schematics are rel. Well, I don't want to say relatively expensive, but it's good to just have them when you need them, you know? We can repair you. We can sell that. So we're going to take a different way back home, I think, rather than taking the road. Let's go over to that mole power truck. Now, mole power trucks still give you schematics and some half-decent electronic stuff, so they're always good to hit up. I think that's a gas station over there, too, which we can hit up. Let's check you. I wonder if I should go into the electronic shop. Yeah, see? We'll take those. Um, it's right here. It's a pretty easy run. That's a shotgun messiah. All right, let's go over here. Electronic parts are like always needed. And once again, we'll need them for coil ammo. So the more we have on us now, the better for later on when we do finally get to be, I think it's level 50. I think we can start making coil stuff. Now, normally when I make coil, coil rifle stuff, I wait until, um, hey you, I wait until I can make the coil carbine, but for this series, I might make the coil shotgun and see how well it does. Hey, party at Mo, Mo Powers. Party at Mo Powers. Let's repair you. You're gone. You're done. You're, uh, an afterthought now. Ooh. Sneak up on me. Oof. That's gotta hurt. She doesn't want to come to the party. She's too afraid. I don't blame you. You just stay right there. I'll bring the party to you. I hear something coming. They're all coming from over there, are they? Find some half decent ammo. Half decent ammo. Getting some good XP too. Ah, oh, some more stuff to sell. Nail gun. I can't remember. Did we pick up a nail gun at any point? Actually, you know what? Let's just do this. 
We can just go ahead and scrap you. We don't need any of that stuff anymore. At least a oh, fucking biker. Come on, man. Leave me the fuck alone. I got shit to do. Finally made it to the party, did you? Alright, this is the bigger one. <laughs> I came through with a shotgun. Wake the fuck up and get out here. Come on, I ain't got time. Popped him like a zit. Ooh. I'll just be using my goddamn spear. Oh, we're fuck's sakes. Switch into the spear. Come on, you. See ya. Level up. Cha-ching. She just didn't know if she wanted to come to the party, but apparently she does. Oh, there we go. And she brought a present too. Very nice of her. Scrap that. Okay, let's just go ahead and use you. Do we have any... I scrapped the uh, pipe, didn't I? Ah, well. Whatever. Alright, shotgun up because we have no idea what's in here. Uh, it's just a computer. Straight up loot everything here. We should get a fair number of electrical parts, but also um, a bunch of schematics. Starting to get a little overloaded now. Oh, somebody in there. So we did pretty good here. Uh, we can scrap that. We can scrap that. Keep those. Uh, let's just scrap those. Actually, nah, we'll sell them. Um. Hmm. What do we get for electronics? 98. It's actually not bad. Uh, the door's right here, kiddo. Got stuck in the workroom. Apocalypse happened, eh? I guess there's worse places to be. Like in the middle of the street. I'll take those. Alright, I'm not going to break any of this stuff up as much as I'd like to. Except for maybe... Grabbing... Some quick plastic. Ah, it's only nine. That sun's starting to go down. So I think we're going to cruise home at night. And I'll see if I can find... Let's repair you because we want to sell you. Actually, let's take this car apart too. Get a pipe and some more gas. So I'll cruise home at night. Another crowbar. Um, we'll get back to town tomorrow. And then we'll be ready to, to get the horde base up and running. Let's grab some more plastic here from these tires. So I want to make, I've decided as far as vehicles go, I want to make the dune buggy, but we can't do that till we get master, um, master mechanic. So that'll be a little while. So the four wheel vehicle will be the dune buggy, I think. Um, it's only like 350 steel or something too. So it's actually pretty, pretty easy to make. Let's go ahead and use you. Uh, repair. Alright, let's get to wrecked. Well, the one good thing about this town is it's going to be a nice whoops, uh, staging town for when we're ready to come down and um, go into the wasteland. It would be nice to build a small base here. We can find out, like, just figure out where that would be. Um, build a small base here, and then uh, we can journey into the wasteland from here, probably. Uh, that is, if there's another, if we don't find another road between now and then, at least we can kind of go into the wasteland and get our uh, titanium and stuff. I'm just taking another quick look around the town here, just to see if I can spot anything useful in a quick looting sense. 
builder site and there's a radiated over here. What are you doing? Oh! Was a wandering horde forming? Maybe a wandering horde was forming when we were left the traders. Or maybe this is where it ran to last night? Really? I don't think so. I don't know. Good XP though. This place would be nice to raid too. We don't have the time. Got an egg for me? Nope. Man, the zombies. They just don't stop. It's not like it, they're hard. It's just that it's like... I want a break to be able to think, and then I can't. Right? Grab you. Alright, we're getting back to Rex, right? That was just, That's what we were doing? Pretty sure that's what we were doing. Okay, before we go to Rex... As much gas as we can in there. I'm going to take this one apart as well. And this one. Just so that I got gas if I'm flitting around at nighttime on the way home. I'm not going to run out of fuel somewhere and then start panicking. Okay. I don't think that that's, that's a different bear, I think. I don't think that's that one from earlier. Okay, so we know to the west is the wasteland. Okay, let's fuel you up. Sell a bunch of shiz. Damn, you smell like the dead. Well, you know, Better I was killing money. like a crap ton of them out there, so I don't really have money either. There's some stuff in the bike I think I want to sell them to before we go. Uh, that can go. Namely the, um, what's it called? Um, hammers and stuff, because we don't need them now. Let's hang on to the lights. I want to take the die out of that. Um, we can get engines just about any time. Let's get rid of that. Okay. Careful out there. Let's do get hurt. this. I think we've got somewhere on our clothing that we can put that. Don't we? Pants? Sure. All right, let's go kill this zombie first. All right, now I can... F wait, no, wait, I wanted to grab some stuff from the bike, didn't I? What? The, where am I going? Oh, here. Moving a little fast. Okay. Now, let's take the hammer. Whatever else can fit in there. That's nice. Um, take the battery. Shotgun receiver... Uh, I know we were keeping this for farm plots, but I think we do that instead. There's lots of opportunity to get rotten meat elsewhere. Okay, I'm keeping that uh, cooking pot just in case we find another town, and I am planning on raiding all this food here. Screw it. All right, sell that, sell that. We got 135 notes. That's not bad. It's enough for a whole nother uh, thing. A whole nother uh, class if we want to get one. Now, um, let's have another double check here just to make sure there's nothing we want. I'm going to buy the rest of your shotgun rounds just because we'll have them for a horde. And let's buy your Molotovs, the Brotatoes, um, gunpowder, I think that's probably going to do it. Shotgun choke mod. We've got a choke, right? We do. So we don't need that. Um, wait, what am Shit, I doing? Man, I treat you that good and you don't even fucking uh, hit Yeah, me. yeah. Cut me some slack. Okay, we were here. Bunker Buster, we got customized fittings. We can make those later. Going to need those for military armor. Because we're going to go military armor, and most likely that's as far as we will go. I mean, I think we need power armor for the... We might need power armor for the uh, final bit, but I don't know. Oh, yeah, too, if, you wanna, if you're looking for plastic late game, a good way to get it is just buy these. 
Um, when you're maxed out and bartering, these are worth nine each, and you'll probably get like four or five plastic per. It's the cheapest way to, to buy plastic from the trader. You can get these, but they're 52 per. And the, um, well, the, sorry, the uh, the blinds are like, I think they end up being like these guys here. They end up being like 32 or 35 per blind, and you only get a couple of plastic off them, but the mannequins give you a fair bit. So buying those late game is actually a good thing. Um, it's just easy plastic. Uh, what else here? Nothing really. I mean, I could take your cornmeal. It just saves me having to make any. You got lots of Molotovs. And lots of shotgun. So I just buy your shotgun rounds. I'm sure I'm forgetting something. Yeah, I think we're probably good at this point. I mean, I could buy your coal to make gunpowder. How much is the coal? 2200 uh, It's really the lead that we can't get in the green biome. Um, so the lead is more important than anything. Coal, we can always find a coal node somewhere. That's just what I want here. So you don't have any lead, do you? Nope, there's crickets, All though. Right, All right, now that we're done um, doing business, get out of my store. So you're marked on the map now. Do we want to go back and skirt... Let's go along this way. I'm going to go through the wilderness on the way back home. Right after we grab all this stuff out here. Um, I know I shouldn't, but I'm going to do it. Because I'm a thieving bastard. I said before, it's like, normally I don't do it, but I'm going to do it this time. It's just less stuff that we have to do. Now, if this was not hoard every, like, you know, what is it, three to four days? Or two to, two to five days? Two, no, two to four every two to four days, then I probably wouldn't do this, but I'm going to do it right now. Alright, well we could have done a lot more here at Rex, but right now we're just going to bail out of here. Um, there's a good chance, though, 50, 50, well not 50, 50 chance that the horde's going to come tomorrow, but most likely it'll come tomorrow. Um, put the stuff in the bike and get the hell out of here. So on the way back home, I'm going to try and at least skirt the uh, edge of the wasteland a little bit to kind of get a bit of definition to it. Just so we have kind of an idea of where it is. That way when we're um, given tasks later on by traders, I'll have a rough idea if they're actually in the wasteland or if they're in like somewhere else, you know. Well, it looks like the fog's rolled in. I just got to be careful I don't accidentally drive straight into the wasteland and get radiated. That would be hilarious. What would be kind of cool, though, is if we actually had a radiated town on the border here. Something that we didn't have to go too far into the wastelands to raid when we get to the point when we can actually go in there. Hey, runner, what's up? Because there will be a point where we can actually dart into the wasteland. We get some half decent, um, well, when we get our radiation gear, that is. Ah, we gotta go north now. Actually, I'm gonna go a little bit more to the east, I think. Now we kind of roughly have an idea where the wasteland is. I'm gonna head east a bit, see if I can find another town. Now, I don't remember when I generated this map, I kind of got a brief look at it, so I kind of had an idea of what it looked like, but for the life of me, I can't even remember what it looked like now. I have no idea where the cities are or anything, so. It's nice. I like maps that are like that where you just have no idea where anything is. So, like, if I'm pre-genning a map to play, if I can, like, wait a few days, like, pre-gen it, wait a few days, and then play it, and then, then I just don't remember what the gen was like. Now, that's a river and not a road. It would have been nice if it was a road, but whatever. Looks like we're going in. Okay, we're part way home here. I'm just going to quickly grab this bag and refuel some tuna. Not bad. All right, we should be good now. Um, where are we here? Yeah, so the wasteland is pretty much directly south of everything. So we need to go this way. No. Oh, Mo, you're screwing me up. Just go away. I'm listening to your footsteps. Uh, we need to go... Oop, not that. This one. We need to go... Here. 
Uh, wow, okay, that way. So I just want to shout out to everybody that's watching the series. I appreciate you guys watching. I'm having a lot of fun playing Darkness Falls again. Um, I do play kind of offline, so I have a little bit of idea now, you know, of what's to come ahead. Like, uh, as you... I, By the time you see this, you'll probably have seen the Wandering Horde uh, quick video that I recorded and posted. Um, it's Shit's going to get real, real, real fast in this... Once we get past level, like, or day 21, um, things are going to go a little nuts, I think. So we gotta make sure, I think over the next, like before, yeah, before day 21, I would say, or day 20, I wanna have our base kind of solidified and what we're gonna do with it. So have at least one of the two um, walkway horde bases up and running, hopefully both of them. Um, get some concrete moving. So this is the south part of our town. So let's go. No, wait, this is Jenstown. So hopefully we can get some um, concrete moving so that when we're ready to go ahead um, and build the uh, the base for, like, I don't want to say for real, but for half decent, um, that it's, like, that we're ready to just go ahead and do it and it's going to be something that we don't have to worry about when a horde night starts. I'm not going to be like, oh, shit, you know, I don't know if this is going to hold up. I'll know for sure it will hold up. Um... And I have a good idea what we're going to do. And then moving forward, once I start maxing out the hordes, what I've got planned in my head, I don't know if it's going to work 100%. So I'm going to have to lay a bunch of traps, which I've already got ideas for. Um, and somebody mentioned maybe digging a pit and then like putting blade traps on the side and then have like electrical fences and dart traps at the bottom. That's a possibility, but the problem is, is that there is a brutal behemoth that's going to spawn in late game. And... I'm pretty sure they can be knocked with a junk sledge turret. So if we knock them off our walkway and it falls into that hole, um, it's not going to get killed by the dart traps. It's not going to be affected by the electrical fences because most of them, most of the de uh, the uh, demons and stuff, I don't think are affected by electricity. At least they weren't in the last version. They would just run right through electrical fences and not have an issue. Um, so my fear is that they'll just run straight, like, or like, they'll fall down there, uh, let the electricity won't affect them, the dart traps will start shooting, but it won't matter because their regeneration will be so high at that point that they'll dart, the dart traps are doing nothing essentially. And then what will end up happening is um, they'll just start break, break, like breaking the walls. And the problem with these specific behemoths as that they're designed to break blocks. And these things will smash through whatever blocks I've put down there really, really quickly. Once they've done that, they're going to tunnel under my base and then we'll have a lot of problems, right? Much like the lag that I'm having right now. That's the kind of problem we'll have. Anyway, they'll, they'll tunnel under our base. Oh my god. Don't If I die because of lag here, I'm going to be so upset. We haven't been lagging most of this episode, and now it's like we get home and we're lagging. I gotta go up the ladder here, too. They don't know where we are. They kind of do. Alright, we'll deal with them up here. Alright, I was worried about making that jump. They should come up the stairs. We'll just deal with them right here. Um, but anyway, so as I was saying, they'll just basically tear a hole through the bottom of the base. Um, and that'll be it. They'll just tunnel and that'll be over. We've had issues where, um, zombies have glitched through some blocks. Is this guy going to come or what? Oops. Well, now we got to fight him. Yeah, it's just Kenny. He was just bringing us a present. Um, but yeah, they'll, um, we, I had that in my last series where they got in underneath, uh, my base, they glitched underneath and they managed to tunnel in and up. So, um, that's a very distinct possibility. 
So we got to be careful of that. Early, early, it's not so much so bad, but later on, it's going to become an issue. Anyway, I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching, and please, you know, drop your comments in the comment section down below. It's only going to make me a better player. Um, like discovering the White River stuff and things like that. I, I, I didn't. It didn't even come to my uh, come to my attention that that was the case. So that's great. Um, yeah. So I'm going to leave the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And you can drop your comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.